Welcome, I'll be reacting to Robocop. I've never seen this movie, but I have seen a brief clip, I think in a documentary. All I remember is there was this big helmet. This is not a market substitute. Please support the original. Series seven sports heart by Jensen. Yamaha, you picked the heart. Extended warranties. This is like watching TV within that universe. I mean, we had the news segment, now we're having an ad. This is fantastic world building. It makes you feel like you're actually in whatever time period this is. Force that there are certain inherent risks that come with the territory. Ask any cop. He'll... He looks so familiar. Where do I know him from? I feel like he was on Stargate. Look at those cheekbones. He must be the bad guy. Right. Funerals mm. tomorrow. All officers not on duty to attend. Any donations for the family? Maybe given to Cecil as usual. As usual? Does this happen a lot? Whoa. Nice kick. Alright, I take it back. Cheekbones is probably the main character. If he's teaming up with her. I think that's what they're trying to set up here. Break the old man if I could. Don't mess with Jones, this is a beautiful like building. Sure. I don't know where they filmed this, but man, I, I love it. Real sharp. He'll ask you twerp. I like how everything on this table is black. This is so well designed. It's like 80s chic. All Detroit has a cancer. The cancer is crime. And it must be cut out before we employ the two million workers that will breathe life into this city again. So this is like Star City, where they are trying to probably destroy the old crime-ridden section to make room for this beautiful new city. Only we don't have the arrow. If Robocop has a scene where he's like, you have failed this city, I will lose it. That would be so awesome. I remember I didn't like him. Senator Kinsey! <laughs> This time, there really are barbarians. They're called ghouls, and they really are at the gate. That one! Then I suggest we close it. <sighs> Senator Kinsey. As you know, we've entered into a contract with the city to run local law enforcement. But it's a cure. Law enforcement for profit? That's not going to end well. <laughs> I'm still with Adama. The keepers of the peace and the military should never be anything like each other. There's a reason why you separate military and the police. When the military becomes both, then the enemies of the state tend to become the people. So I'm not sure testing military robots in the police force makes any sense at all. <laughs> Put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. Uh, I would put it down. I think you'd better do what he says, Mr. Kenny. You now have 15 seconds to comply. What? Direct violation See, this, this is why you don't test weapons on civilians. Get your staff together, Mr. Morton. I'll expect a full presentation in 20 minutes. Thank you, sir. 20 minutes? Yeah, take that, Senator Kinsey. DJ Laser and this laser guy does this every time he takes down a bad guy, so naturally my, my kid thinks every good cop should be... And you don't want to disappoint him. Hmm. Is that... I'm so used to him as like a suburban dad. This is funny. <laughs> she still has her bubble gum going. That's great. Well, you call it. Let's do it. Okay. I like how well they work together, even this quickly. Like, they seem to trust each other's judgment. Whoa. Oof. That was a hard fall. Mm. Ow. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, she's gonna feel like this happened on her watch, too. Okay, it was not your fault. I gather he's gonna be the first volunteer. Is this his new vision? <laughs> Can you imagine waking up as a robot to a company party?
Yeah, that's the helmet I remember. This processor dispenses a rudimentary paste that sustains these organics. Yeah. It's like it's like applesauce. Uh oh. That that's not good. Classified directive? Is he gonna do the twirly thing? He remembers. There is part of his memory in in that head somewhere. He's like, I know that chiseled jawline. That was subtle too. He drives in the same way. That mm, takeoff when he first got in the car. Even if it's subconscious, he still has his memories if he could just access them. <laughs> Pulled a Hagrid. And second, I want some fresh coffee. His second request is coffee. What about cruise control? Does it come with cruise control? Hey, no problem. <laughs> Let the mayor go. Even... Raid with Mexican nationals against rebel rocket positions in Acapulco. What? Now this. <laughs> Order. That's it, Buster. No more military aid. <laughs> These commercials are the best. They're my favorite thing about this movie so far. Are we talking about the same Dick Jones? Hey, he's old, we're young, and that's life. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they know that something's going down here. <laughs> oh. I always knew what the line was strong, and you just stepped over it, buddy boy. What you reading in there? Think you could outsmart a bullet? Oh no, about the mask kid. What happens to the mask kid? I guess we hope he's a fast runner. Th this is a restricted area. <laughs> cool, he's like R2D2. Is he gonna look at his own record? Click it, click it. How long has it been since he died? Looks like it's been a while. Will this trigger all his memories? Or is he just getting select ones? Wait, how long has he gone without his applesauce? He might need to eat soon. That gold lame top is everything. I love it. I think Senator Kinsey sent him. We could have been friends. But you wouldn't go through proper channels. But life goes on. It's an old story. The fight for love and glory, huh, Bob? The fight for love and glory. Is that just a general phrase? I haven't heard it anywhere else except here in Casablanca. I think he has sherry because look at that wine. That's a very tawny color. It's definitely late harvest wine. It could be a tawny port, but that's not really a port okay, glass. Let me, uh, try to... Come on, zoom in. Okay, that, that's definitely more red in this particular angle. Must have been the lighting earlier. That's still a really tiny glass, so it's definitely not a burgundy wine. I mean, even a cab you wouldn't want to serve in a glass like that. I'm guessing a Zinfandel? What was the most popular wine in the late 80s? Let's look that up. I know you can be like, what a rabbit trail. This makes no sense. I'm sorry. I love wine and I'm curious. So you just have to put up with me. Cabernet Franc? Mm, it could be. Oh, Shiraz. Ugh. What does headcanon go with Shiraz? I feel like the wine is going to get shattered, which will be very disappointing. Wait a minute! I'm protected, man. I've got protection! You have the right to an attorney? What is- He has that classified mandate. What if it kicks in here and stops him? Oh, there goes the classified thing. Mm-hmm. Only a matter of time before that happened. Oh, no. Run! Like, just run, right now. Mm. Wait, is it like the Daleks that can't figure out stairs? It's like an early Dalek! We have orders to destroy it! No! Idiot! Please be Lewis. Yes. Yes. I'm not hungry. You should be, you've been running around quite a lot. He's taking the helmet off, isn't he? It's not too bad. 
Wow, they have the same aim as stormtroopers. Yuck. <gasps> Ugh. Oh no! Oh, I really hope she had body armor on. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Lewis, you got this. Lewis! Anytime! Yes. Oh. Anybody tries to stop me? The old geezer gets it. You're fired! Oh, -ho! that is one smart CEO. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. That was a really fun, over-the-top B-movie with some great sci-fi action. I really like it when they take the technology of the time period in which the movie was made and they extrapolate where that might go. So we have tracking devices, kind of the equivalent of Zoom meetings. There's that house he walks into that's for sale that instead of having an actual realtor, a virtual screen that sort of takes you around the house. There were small things like AIs, voice activation controls. We see that a lot in early science fiction and it was actually fairly accurate. I mean, my name is Alexa. <laughs> I've been on Zoom calls and people accidentally activated their home Alexas as a result. So the technology has, for the most part, paralleled what they thought it would be. Even the database that they were searching for with the facial recognition, we have that. One of the best parts of this was the news footage of as if we were watching a TV in the time period, just showing tiny tidbits of what was going on in the world. That was really fascinating. If they had just done the story of Robocop, it would have been a fun movie, but it didn't have the level of immersive interaction that we got as a result of having that fake TV footage slash ads all the time. So that was a brilliant decision. I can definitely see why this film is popular. The effects are really not that bad for the time period. From what I could tell, there was a lot of practical and stop motion going on. Anyone who knows behind the scenes, let me know. I especially liked the partnership between Murphy and Lewis. I was rooting for them the whole time. Was this a perfect film? <laughs> no. Was it highly enjoyable? I think so. I would rewatch it.